So lockdown or quarantine is actually a really good time to learn how to lucid dream. And there's a few reasons for that. Uh, firstly, you're stuck in your home, most of you. I mean, due to this coronavirus, we, a lot of us around the world, we're basically stuck in our home. So what this means is we firstly have a lot of free time, you know, uh, and secondly, we don't really have to be up early as much anymore. I mean, yes, yeah, some of us are working from home. Uh, some of us are still going out to work, but a huge chunk of people around the world are not going to work and they don't really have to be up at any specific time in the morning. So this is the perfect time to lucid dream. Now you might be wondering also why you're having strange dreams during lockdown. A lot of people have been messaging me and commenting on Instagram and things like that saying I'm in lockdown, I can't leave my house, but for some reason I've been having these crazy dreams and you might be thinking well hold on a second, I'm in lockdown, I don't have any sort of memories being formed, I'm not going out and doing new things, going traveling, meeting people and so there's far less what we call day residue uh, which is basically like the leftover sort of echo of your day memories, what you do during the day. And often our dreams are made up of that day residue. So we dream about things we do in our everyday life. Now, of course, when we're locked down, we are not really doing much. I mean, you're sort of sitting in your lounge, maybe you'll walk to the shop, maybe you'll go and sit in the garden if it's nice weather, but there's not really much day residue being created. So you're wondering, well, hold on, why am I having crazy dreams then? And a lot of people are. A lot of people are having these really vivid, crazy dreams in lockdown, quarantine. So I wanna, I wanna address these two things. Firstly, how you can use lockdown to actually lucid dream because it's a really good opportunity actually. And secondly, why you might be having these crazy, really vivid dreams during lockdown. There's a couple of reasons for that. So I'll start with the lucid dreaming thing. How can you lucid dream during lockdown? Well, there are, of course, a few ways that you can do that. Now, you're not going to be able to do reality check as reliably because you won't be experiencing really anything strange. So you'll just be sort of sitting in your room, in your house. So here's what you could do. Start watching fantasy films, sci-fi, uh, you know, interesting films, things that are going to stimulate your creativity and your mind. You want to basically engage your creative uh, faculties here. So yeah, watch really cool fantasy films like Avatar, Star Wars, you know, all of this, uh, these futuristic things. And that will stimulate your dreams and hopefully you'll dream about some of that stuff as well. Do reality checks, yes, during the day, but focus on going inwards. In many respects, this lockdown is a good time to go inwards. And so when I say inwards, I mean go and meditate, start writing your dreams down, start analyzing what you're already dreaming about, you know, start focusing on self-awareness in that way and just take a step back in a way and just relax and experience life without worrying about, oh my God, am I going to lucid dream now and putting this pressure on yourself? Because there's no time restraints here. You have all the time in the world to learn how to lucid dream. You don't need to do it now. So just use lockdown as a way to go inwards, you know, observe yourself and your thoughts and what's happening with them and how you feel and just be more mindful in general. And you'll probably find that you lucid dream pretty much by accident if you do that. So it's kind of a win-win really. Now, in terms of your vivid dreams, why are you having crazy dreams during lockdown? There's a few reasons. Like I said, your day residue, you're not creating any day residue, really. You're just doing sort of mundane things. You're not going out and meeting new people. You're not really having any new experiences other than if you watch something new on TV. However, that sort of gives you the answer in itself. That is why you're having vivid dreams. Because you have no day residue being created, your brain sort of steps in and creates its own dream material. You know, your brain usually, and this is just one of the theories of dreaming, by the way, this is, you know, there are different theories of why and how we dream. Usually, as far as the theory goes, we have day residue, which is created during the day, of course. And your brain, according to this theory, will sort of consolidate those memories and turn that day residue into what we call long-term memories. Uh, during your sleep. This is why, apparently, we dream about things we did during the day and we actually dream about our day residue. Now, because you're not creating any day residue, your brain resorts to the other reason or thing that it does during dreams, which is to bring up your subconscious mind. This is where things get crazy. The reason you're having crazy dreams is because you have no day residue, so your brain sort of has nothing to do, so to speak, you know? It doesn't have any memories to consolidate. It doesn't have any experiences that you've had throughout the day to sort of process and analyze. It just has raw subconscious and a whole lot of time to explore and use it. So that's why your subconscious is being brought up now during lockdown, because there's nothing else for your brain to do. It sort of wants to fill in the gaps and just give you some kind of experience. I mean, there's different theories as to why it would do that, you know, why your subconscious mind would actually 
even want or be able to dream in the first place, but that's what it does, you know? We don't really understand it. However, yes, that means, yeah, your subconscious will be brought up, you'll experience like dark elements of yourself and your psyche, your shadows, your beliefs and fears. These things will all be brought up now because before, when you weren't in lockdown, what was happening is you, every day you were creating new memories and experiences. You were going out and experiencing new things, meeting people, and all of those experiences, your brain would basically have to sort through and consolidate, in theory, uh, during the night. And then any time that's left over from that, that is when your subconscious mind would have been activated more and, you know, bigger, more profound, deep things would have been brought up. So now you have all of this subconscious stuff coming up and no day residue to take your mind off it and to distract your mind. So that's why you're having these crazy dreams during lockdown. Now, my number one piece of advice for that you know, especially if they're scary or weird, unusual, is to write them down. Because this is like a golden opportunity to actually understand more about your dreams and why you're having them in the first place. Because most of us don't really write our dreams down enough. You know, we tend to just wake up and think, oh, that was kind of a cool dream, but you know, never mind, I'm gonna carry on with my day now. But you should write them down. You'll, you'll find some pretty interesting things if you write your dreams down and then over time, you know, go back and look at them and, and see what your common dream signs are. You'll find some pretty interesting things there.